My next question comes from Linda. And why has Canada not placed a travel ban on flights to and from China? By not doing this, are we not pandering to the Chinese government? So I don't think we're pandering to the Chinese government because I, what I think is going on is the federal government is simply catching up to reality. And it's always, it seems it's always behind the eight ball. So we know there, there were 195 Canadians evacuated from Wuhan and quarantined at Canadian forces based in Trenton. Um, after 14 days, they were allowed to go home. So there's a quarantine period between, um, between when you land and when you're allowed to go home. I think there's now about seven cases of people who contracted uh, coronavirus who are in Canada. There are 47 Canadians who've contracted the coronavirus on a, the Diamond Princess cruise ship who are currently being monitored at Japanese health facilities. Again, the remaining Canadian passengers are currently quarantined at the NAV Canada Training Institute in Cornwall, which by the way, is not uh, a quarantine facility. It's actually a facility you can get to, any member of the public can go to. So it's not as secure as it should be. And we know worldwide, there's been uh, an infection rate of over 8,000 people globally and has killed over 2,000 people, but mainly in the, in the People's Republic of China so far. Uh, the World Health Organization has declared it as a global emergency. Uh, I know they've renamed it COVID-19. I'm still using the wording coronavirus because that's the one I've heard the most often. And, uh, you know, basic precautions of health are good things to take. It's up to the individual airlines to ban, uh, to stop flying. Air Canada stopped flying to the mainland as of April and won't resume anything till April 10th. And they could always delay it uh, well into the future if they so choose to. Um, it's really up to them and that's kind of how the government is working. So, and the decision to travel is obviously yours if you wish to. Uh, even if you were to ban flights directly to China, uh, people could go to the People's Republic of China through Korea, through other countries or other countries who are still having flights that we have connecting flights to and it would simply be impossible to enforce it. People could get there through connecting flights. Linda, that, that's really one of the very, very big reasons why this is not so easy to do um, in, uh, in the Western world now because it's easy for people to get through uh, connecting flights. So. Uh, the U.S. is temporarily barring entry to foreign nationals who have visited uh, the PRC and pose a risk of spreading the illness unless they are immediate relatives of U.S. citizens or permanent residents. And flights from China are being funneled through seven U.S. airports. I know there's this news saying that there's a complete ban, but again, it's not true. And some people are being allowed uh, to travel back and forth. So, Linda, I, I hope that answers your question. 